Rachel and Jack are still sleeping, so I'm gonna go hit the Trout River without them, and try to get some early morning trout. Uncle Andy hooked us up with a nice pair of actual waders. Um, now we want to look like fools out there in our shorts, old tennis shoes, four degree water, and just going completely numb, so excited to try these out. Booyah! Sweet, huh? Early morning, heading out alone. Rachel was gonna come, uh, but when I woke her up, the dogs jumped in the bed. And I guess she's chose the dogs over me today. And usually I prefer fishing with other people, like Rachel, Jack, Uncle Andy. But sometimes it is nice to get out there alone early in the morning. Uh, not as many people out, it's just feels really peaceful, good way to start the day. Plus, you can't beat these views. Okay, we're right hit the water. Going with the uh, Joe Fly today. Um, I've been liking using these. They're nice and lightweight. I do add another weight up top just so I can cast it further. But they look really realistic. I've been getting some good hits on them. Ooh, see that crane? Blue heron. Blue heron was sitting right here where this little like sewage slash creek comes into the river. And that's where a lot of predators are actually going to be hanging out. I mentioned this in another video, but that's generally going to be bringing in bait that gets, you know, confused in the turbulent water. And a lot of times when creeks flow into rivers at the creek mouth, it's going to be a really good spot to fish. And even the birds are chilling there. So that's where we're going to target. First, hopefully pick up some of these trout, predatory species. They're gonna be hanging right here. This area, you know, I was really targeting. See behind them rocks, that's flack water, I was targeting that. There's some flack water here, it's targeting that. Also got some ripples up here. So let's just working the Joe fly through there. No hits, so we'll just keep working down. We got a nice flat stretch that gets a little deeper on the far end. So we'll just be working down and hitting them edges. All right, we've been out here about two hours now. Still not a bite. Still working the Joe Fly with the weight. I might try switching up here. We're at a good spot right here. It gets pretty deep. I'm gonna fish this out. Maybe head upstream a little bit more. Then we might try switching out the lure. Try something different. Okay, we're switching our tactics a little bit here. I'm going to be fishing downstream. Usually I'm fishing upstream, as we talked about before. But fishing downstream, what that allows you to do is you can reel in a lot slower because the blade is going against the current. And basically that's going to keep action on the blade and allow you to reel very slowly and keep in the strike zone a lot longer. And you can see I'm not even reeling it right now. It's just letting the current do the work. If you're not getting bites fishing upstream, sometimes it's worth it. Just to switch it up and just see if going slower might get you a bite. Okay, so when you want to catch a duck, you're going to get right lateral of them. Their eyes are to the front, so they can't see the sides. And you're just going to want to walk up very slowly on the duck. Wait for it to put its head underwater. That means it's not going to see you coming. I'm just kidding. We're not getting no duck today. Not the best fishing day today. Did a lot more fishing than catching. But, still good to get on the water. A little cold right now, probably gonna go home and make some chili. But, uh, here's a video of Rachel catching her first trout. And we're using a lot of the same method. And you can see the part of the river we're targeting. And you can check out our other video, um, how to read a river. But this part of the river that she's targeting, you can see there's a nice flow, and then there's a slack water pocket, basically, right behind that cement wall. So that's where she was targeting, casting up in the slack water and bringing it back towards the current um, with the purpose of hopefully there's a trout there waiting for bait to come on down the stream and the current, and it snags it. And you can see her, that's exactly what that trout was doing. And Rachel hooked up on her first rainbow trout. That's a pretty little trout, too. Booyah!